Taylor Swift fans are giving Seahawks fans a run for their money, and the science proves it. King 5 meteorologist Leah Pizzetti shows us how the Taylor Swift concerts dethroned Beastquake. Two very different crowds. Seahawks! One very similar outcome, both have caused seismic activity thanks to their cheers. The first in 2011, when Marshawn Lynch's touchdown caused Seahawks fans to go wild. And now, when more than 70,000 Swifties filled Lumen Field. Somebody posted and said, well, did the Taylor Swift concert make a beast quake? And I was like, oh, I'm on that. That's fun. So Western Washington University geology professor Jackie Kaplan Auerbach plotted the seismic activity from last weekend's two concerts. And when she stacked the shaking on top of each other, it's clear they match, showing virtually the same set list was played each night. And from that data, she could see one key difference from the two nights. I actually kind of, you know, did math and saw, okay, to my data, it looks like it was delayed by 26 minutes. And somebody responded immediately, oh yes, it was delayed by about a half an hour. A fun part of this whole experiment, the citizen science element. She says the internet and several local teenagers have been a key part in collecting data, mostly in the form of screaming videos. How do the two big events compare? Jackie points out there are differences. Taylor Swift had a slightly larger crowd and was directly on the field. Plus, the beat helps keep people in sync. So I want to put that caveat out there because I don't really want to get into kind of a snickering match between Seahawks fans and Swifties. But I will say the Swifties have it in the bag. It, this was much bigger than the beast quake in terms of raw amplitude of shaking. Um, and it went on for a whole lot longer. Of course, the, you know, the beast quake was a moment in time, but thus far the Swifties really have, have uh, the Seahawks fans beat. But regardless of the outcome, she points out that this is a way to make science unique and entertaining. If we can demystify what science is, I think it makes it much more accessible to everybody and it makes it a more enjoyable aspect of you know, of our, our, our studies. Leah Pizzetti, King 5 News. I was going to say, I can't believe it, but I can believe it. That thing was packed with yeah. fans. Yeah, I'm still amazed at how many people were there for two nights. Two nights. Yep, and some diehard Swifties. So, all right, there you have it.